Okay, today we're going to practice with the percent proportion. So we've already learned about the percent proportion, and the percent proportion is the part to whole equals percent out of 100. So let's take a look at this problem. In a survey of 50 people at Scoop's ice cream shop, 20% of the people said their favorite ice cream flavor was vanilla. How many people said that their favorite flavor was vanilla? So in problems involving percent, we're, giving inform we're given information about the part, the whole, and the percent amounts. And we saw this before, which is why we have that part to whole equals percent out of 100, why we have this as our percent proportion. Okay, when you are trying to solve for the missing amount, you need to identify the part, the whole, and the percent, what you're given in your word problem. But beware, one of them will be missing. And the percent problems we've been doing, the part has been missing. And that's what we've been solving for. But sometimes the whole may be missing, or the percent may be missing. And that's what you have to be able to do is to identify the missing part of your problem. So go ahead and pull out your handout, the types of the percent proportion. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger here. Okay, and there's a little checklist that goes with it. So on the checklist it says you need to identify what you need to find. Do you need to find the part? Do you need to find the whole? Or do you need to find the percent? So let's take a look at our first problem. It was the Scoops ice cream shop and a survey of 50 people this is going to be your whole amount. 20% of the people said that their favorite flavor was vanilla. How many people said their favorite flavor was vanilla? So the 20% is your percent amount. Once you've identified everything, then you can go ahead and fill in your proportion with this given information. So our whole is 50, so here's our whole. The percent is 20%, that goes up here, and percent, 20% is the part percent the whole percent will always be a hundred and you're looking for the part that is the missing amount you're looking for so this is what the proportion would look like when you're finding the part you would have your n your variable the unknown amount in the part section okay let's go on to and then you would solve it and we're not going to solve it right now let's go on to the next problem 30% of the gumballs in a machine are pink. If there are 15 pink gumballs in the machine, how many gumballs are there in all? So you can easily see that the percent is going to be 30. So 30% 30 out of 100. Then it says there are 15 pink gumballs. This is your part. So the part is the 15, and we're trying to find out how many total gumballs there are in the machine. So when you're trying to find the part, this is what your proportion would look like. Your whole amount, the bottom part of this first ratio, is your variable. It's the unknown. And then the last one is when you're trying to find the percent. A salesperson sold 20 cars last month. Seven of the cars were red. What percent of the cars sold were red? So they sold 20 cars. That's the whole. That's the total number of cars sold. And we know out of those 20, seven were red. That's your part. We want to know what percent does the seven represent. So the percent amount is going to be your n, your unknown variable. And remember, percent is always out of 100. So this 100 will never change. When you're writing a percent proportion, you will always, it will always be percent out of 100. If you need to pause the video so that you can catch up on filling your notes, please do so. And when you're ready, continue. All right, so this is in your packet. This is page two of your packet. We're gonna do some practice problems. And first we're gonna practice finding the percent. Four students is what percent of 20 students? So this of 20 students, this represents the whole. You always want to label and identify the part, the whole, and the percent. The four students is your part, and the percent is the unknown. This is what we're looking for. So set up your proportion, part to whole, four out of 20. 
is equivalent to percent, which is n, it's the unknown, out of 100. There's your proportion. You're ready to solve it. So we're going to go from the known to the unknown. So we're going from the left to the right, from 20 to 100. Can we use a scale factor? Yes. Multiply by 5. Then do the same thing. Use the same scale factor on the 4, and your n is going to equal 20%. Okay, blank percent of 50 shirts is 35 shirts. So this of 50 sh shirts is your whole, and the part is going to be your 35, and you're looking for your percent. There's your unknown. Now we set up our proportion. Part to whole is equal to percent, which is the unknown, in out of 100. Now use your scale factor. Can you go from 50 to 100? Yes, multiply by 2, do the same thing to the 35, and 35, two is, 35 times 2 is 70. So 70% 70 of the 50 shirts is 35. Now what would it look like finding the whole? 4% of blank days is 56 days. So we already know 4% is the percent. And 4% is 56 days, so that's your part. Remember before I've told you that the part and the percent should represent the same thing. And we're looking for how many total days the whole. So set up the proportion part to whole, 56 to n, because that whole is the unknown, is equal to the percent for out of 100. Okay, can we do a scale factor? You actually can. You can multiply 4 times 14, and that will give you 56. So do the same thing to the 100, multiply it by 14, and you'll get 1,400. So 4% 4 of 1,400 days is 56 days. 80%, so here's our, eight, here's our percent, of how many games, how many total games, we don't know, is the 32. Set it up, part to whole, 32 to n is equal to percent out of 100. Okay, I'm going from the known to the unknown, so I need to go from right to left. Can I use a skill factor to go from 80 to 32? No. So let's go ahead and simplify this. As you can see, both end in a zero, so I can cross them off to make it easier, and that's the same as dividing by 10. Now, can I use the skill factor to go from 8 to 32? Yes. 8 times 4 will give you 32, so multiply 10 times 4 and you get 40. 80% of 40 games is 32. All right, here's a couple more. Go ahead and, and pause the video. I want you to work these two problems on your own. Once you have your answers, come back and check to see how you did. Okay, let's see how you did. So at a shelter, 15% of the dogs are puppies. If there are 60 dogs, how many are puppies? So they're telling us that there are 60 dogs. That is going to be your whole amount, 60. Then it says 15% are puppies, so the percent is 15, and we're trying to find the number of puppies. And you can label your part and your percent. The part is talking about the puppies, how many puppies. And the percent, the 15%, also represent puppies. So that's a good thing. We need the part and the percent to represent the same thing. Setting up your proportion, n out of 60 equals 15 out of 100. Part to whole equals 15 out of 100. Okay, for this one, we're going to go from the known to the unknown. So from right to left, from 100 to 60. Can we use a skill factor? No, this one you cannot use a scale factor, so you're gonna to have to simplify this ratio first. I know that I can divide both by five, and it gives me a three to 20 ratio. Now I can use a scale factor and go from 20 to 60 by multiplying by three. I use the same scale factor and do three times three, and I get nine. So my answer statement would be nine puppies. There are nine puppies. Alana spent $21 of her $300 paycheck on a gift. What percent of her paycheck was spent on the gift? We know we're looking for the percent. 
and the percent we're looking for is the amount that she spent on the gift. So it says she spent $21 on her gift. So this 21 does represent the gift. So the part and the percent represent the same thing. They're both talking about the gifts. Then it says of her $300 paycheck, that's your whole amount. Set up your per uh, percent proportion. 21 out of 300 is equal to N out of 100. N is the percent that we're solving for. We're going from the known to the unknown, from left to right, from 300 to 100. We can do this by dividing by 3. Divide your 21 by 3 and you get 7. So answer statement, 7% was spent on the gift. If you have any problems with that, if you did not get those two correctly and, and you don't understand, please go back and uh, rewatch the video. In the meantime, go ahead and turn to page 3 of your packet. and. We are going to work the first problem, problem number one. At Pizza Pie, 9% of the pizzas made last week had extra cheese. If 27 pizzas had extra cheese, how many pizzas in all were made last week? First thing we need to do for every problem is identify the part, the whole, and the percent, the amounts that you're given. So we're given 9%. So the percent would be 9, and what does this represent? 9% of the pizzas made last week had extra cheese. So this represents extra cheese. I'm just going to put CH for cheese. Then it said, how many pizzas in all? So we're looking for the total or the whole. This is our unknown. And then it says 27. This 27 is part. It's part of the pizzas made. But what part does it represent? It represents the ones that had the extra cheese check. Does your part and your percent, do they match? Are they describing the same thing? Yes, they're both talking about the extra cheese pizzas. So now we're ready to set up our percent proportion. Part, 27, to whole, in, is equal to percent, which is 9, always out of 100. And then we just go through and we solve our proportion just like we do any proportion. Can we use a scale factor? We're going from the known, 100, to the unknown, n. So we're going to go from right to left, from 9 to 27. Yes, we can use the skill factor. We can multiply by 3. Do the same thing to the 100. 100 times 3 is 300. So your answer statement would be 300 pizzas in all. Okay. Now you can finish the rest of your homework assignment on your own.